During the 7th conference on Kribagene attended by different stakeholders in justice, law and order sector at the judiciary headquarters in Kampala, the focus was on how best victims can be included in the pre-bargaining process. The Deputy Chief Justice Richard Ibotel underscored applying alternative dispute resolution mechanisms in handling cases. Cases as the way, in the way in which we handle them is that in other cases the accused would wait for the prosecution to call the witnesses. The witnesses, each of the witnesses would give evidence, be cross-examined. Pre-bargain is shorter. The accused participates in negotiating his sentence. Because he has participated, he is unlikely, most probably will not appeal. So it saves court's time because there are no appeals. The conference was attended by justices, judges, retired judges, lawyers, magistrates, registrars, DPP's office, police and prisons. We had tried in the criminal division to have what we call a fast track so that whenever there are inmates, uh, when the cases are fresh, they are handled very, I mean, the, the perspective of the accused persons is very different from the time after they have spent some time in prison. Meanwhile, over 40 mediators who have underwent training in conflict resolution and management have been awarded certificates in mediation. So our training has principally been working on what, how to equip them with skills to handle legal, uh, legal uh, mediation. And that involves what is, uh, what is uh, alternative dispute resolution. It involves what is mediation as an aspect of alternative dispute resolution. The Global Peace Ambassador Dr. Daniel Arioth urged the mediators to aim at bringing peace between the disputed parties. If you are going to mediate in the courts of law, you must know you are meeting two people who are right at some point. And that's why you need to do more research and get to know what has happened exactly. We have more leaders in the church, we have more Christians. If they are raised well and taught well and willing to offer their service to sacrifice in the courts of law, it will help reduce the backlogs. We also know how the economy of the country is and how the government is struggling here and there. And we cannot have everybody sit there and work for money. Out of 40 mediators, 20 have been accredited to start mediation in courts at all levels. Uh, because we have been mandated to mediate from Supreme Court, Court of Appeal, High Court and Magistrate's Court. Deborah Namamonde, UBC News. We, are, we may not necessarily meet 